Welcome to another video where we are going to solve problem number 20 from second chapter of force vectors in the book of engineering mechanics, the aesthetics part by R.C. Hibbler. This problem is pretty similar to the one which we have solved previously, problem number 19, but here we are not being asked the direction of uh, the resultant force, however the magnitude of the resultant force is required. The other thing that is asked is actually the theta which the FA force is making with the positive y axis. So there are two things required in this problem, the magnitude of the resultant force and the direction of FA force, theta and what we are being given. We are being given with the magnitude of these two forces and the direction of the two forces which are those two forces, FB which makes an angle of 40 degree with the negative y axis and the direction of the resultant force which has been given that it's along the positive x-axis direction. So let's solve this problem. So in this problem we are not going to use the uh, cosine law at the start but, but we may use later on. Why? Because we are not being given directly with the angle between these two forces since theta is unknown. Therefore we will start with uh, sine law first. For that again we have to draw the triangle so that we can use the sine law. So we are known with the two forces FA and FB, the direction is given. The direction of the resultant force is also given. So let's displace uh, one force to related to the other. Let's displace this time with uh, FA force by taking the tail of uh, FA force with the head with the head of FB force. By doing so the closing side will be then the resultant. So this side is FB, this side is FA and this side is FR. We are known with this interior angle. If this is 40 then this angle would be 90 minus 40 means 50 degrees since the total is 90. If we cannot determine this angle because we don't know the direction of FA force. Similarly we cannot determine this angle because we don't know the direction of FA force. But we can write these uh, in terms of uh, theta. What do I mean by that? So is, if this is theta because you can see here the FA force with the y axis is actually theta and uh, this angle would be 40. Why 40? Because you can see if this angle is 40 so opposite angle will also be 40. So, so this interior angle is 40 plus theta and uh, let's say this angle is x degrees. So you know that the summation of all the angles should be 180. So 180 degrees equal to 50 degree plus 40 degrees plus theta plus x degrees. So from here you can determine x and on doing calculations you are going to get 90 minus theta. So this x is actually 90 minus theta. Now in this triangle you can see that uh, one interior angle 50 is known so we can take this sine 50 degrees. The opposite side of uh, 50 is FA. It have a magnitude of 8. Now it can be equated to this interior angle but if we equate to this interior angle then uh, we don't know the value of FR but if we equate to 90 minus theta then we know the opposite side which is FB. So let's uh, equate to sine 90 minus theta which will be divided by the magnitude of uh, FB force which is 6. So in this equation you can see that there is only theta is variable and on doing calculations you are going to get theta as 54.90 degrees. This is one of the answer that was asked to us. Theta angle we just have calculated that is 54.93. Now in order to have the magnitude of resultant force we can use sine law or cosine law. Both are possible now but uh, I will be using sine law. Why? Because uh, we already have the triangle and we have the angle of theta. We, we will simply can determine the value of uh, the resultant force from here. How? Let's see. So sine 50 opposite side is 8. Now we are interested in this. So angle now would be sine theta plus 40. Theta we just have calculated is 54.93. So if I put 54 plus 40 that will become 94 plus 93. That will be divided by FR. 
So in this equation, you can see there is only one variable is there, which is fr. And on doing calculations, you are going to get the value of fr as 10.4 kN, and that's the another answer. So now we have calculated uh, theta, which is 54.93, the angle which FA force is making with the positive y axis, and also we have determined the magnitude of the resultant force, which is 10.4 kN. That's all being asked to us. So I believe uh, you can understand it easily about uh, these calculations. If not, then please let me know through the comment section so that I can get back to you. So that's all from this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Till then, bye.